Hi folks, hope you're doing good. Last one for today, I'm going to check out an older band, one of the bands that I'm into from my past, uh, one of the bands that I used to follow around the country and go to all their gigs as many as I could. Uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, these guys were doing the circuit around the UK and kind of underrated band, underground band still, never really got the, uh, the kind of appreciation that they should have. Um, but they did a bunch of gigs all around the UK and me and my mates used to go do all the ones that we could around my area in the Midlands um, and they just put on a great show every time, got to chat to the band um, and even got to get their album as an early release the one time which was pretty pretty cool at the time. Uh, the band in question, I'm going to doubt you've heard of them if you're outside the UK and even if you are you probably haven't as well. The band is called Earth Tone 9 the track that we're going to listen to is called Evil Crawling Eye. It's one of their best tracks, so it's a really good one to listen to, and they got a video for it as well. We'll get it up on the screen. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. Great guitar tone. Drums sound great, vocals really nice, it's got a great screamy tone, but his singy voice is very unique and very cool. Drums are great. Yeah, you hear he's got a bit of a different singing voice. Very nice. Great. <clears throat> not a good, <clears throat> excuse me, not a guitar tone you'll hear very often this one. What a strange tone. Yeah, the drums sound great. Superb drummer as well. The beats this guy comes up with in the tracks, very different. Got a, a unique style. Great energy to the music. Yeah. Yeah, I freaking love the drumming. Guitars sound great. Just non stop energy. I love the tone on the vocals. Sick. Well, that's as good as I remember it, and I haven't listened to that one in a while. Uh, Earth Tone 9, Evil Crawling Eye. Uh, hopefully that has tickled your guys' fancies, uh, particularly if, as I say, if you're outside the UK, there's a good chance you've never heard of this band. Uh, but they're quality, quality band. Should have been much bigger than they were, really, but at the time there were lots of bands going around, a lot of bands competing for that kind of few spots that there were on record labels and things for this kind of music at the time um, and as a result many bands actually not just this band many bands that were doing the circuit at this time uh, that, that really could have been much bigger um, you know Kerrang bands and all of that metal hammer type stuff uh, never really broke through quite into that scene um, but 
The quality was there, great bands, great live shows as well. Really superb. This band is superb live. Um, their live show was just as, just as high energy and just as in your face as the record, uh, but even more so, they pulled it off live. He could do his vocal live as well. And he had a very nice tone. I used to follow this band wherever they went. Um, so that's Earth Tone 9 for you. I'm not really going to go into their backlog and everything else. They've got a few albums out. Check out their first three albums because they're absolutely classic. Uh, you cannot go wrong. After that, they did kind of change their sound a little bit, uh, a, a little less heavy, a bit more melodic. Um, still very good, high quality music, but because I'm a kind of no cleans, hardcore boy, the early stuff was where it was at for me. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you'll check this guy out. You can get their stuff online and stuff still. They did uh, reunite as well uh, a few years back, and I think they're doing some gigs and stuff as well. So if you're in the UK, maybe not this year, but next year, uh, you'll be able to see these guys live as well. They do a great live show. Thanks for watching the videos. See you, bye.